Hello, it's that time of year again, not to be fooled by pictures on the websites of organizations like Heifer International that make it seem as if animals like goats and chickens given to someone in Africa or Asia become treasured members of families. They don't. For instance, in areas where Heifer International's program operates in Asia, goats simply end up at the slaughterhouse. There, goats were also found suffering from untreated conditions such as an infected udder, a fractured limb, and a maggot-filled wound. Some were kept in crowded pens or tied up with ropes so short they could barely move. Villagers sometimes forced sticks into baby goats' mouths to prevent them from drinking their mother's milk, which is taken away for human consumption. And male goats were pinned down and castrated without the use of anesthetics. A lack of adequate veterinary care can harm humans too, as the animals are susceptible to bird flu, swine flu, and other diseases that are transmissible to humans around them. When animals are given to communities already struggling for resources like food and water or dealing with harsh environmental pressures such as drought, adding more animals simply means more mouths to feed in challenging conditions. Providing impoverished communities with animals also fails to offer people a new skill set as providing education would. Dr. Jane Goodall is among those experts urging World Aid charities to end their donations of live animals. PETA suggests supporting organizations focused on education, clean water, hygiene, and plant-based meals, such as A Well-Fed World, Food for Life Global, or the Fruit Tree Planting Foundation, which help alleviate world hunger and strengthen communities. Doing so would genuinely empower communities in ways that distributing goats or chicks never can. Thank you.